Hello bookworms! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Annie and today I'm here with my May reading wrap up. It was a really great and also really diverse reading month for me because I read 10 books, which really is a lot for me. And I also managed to read very different genres and in very different formats because usually I just tend to stick to my preferred genres of fantasy and science fiction, like a lot of science fiction lately. Uh, but this time I also managed to read some other genres as well, which was great for once. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into the video. So I also keep a handwritten reading journal for a few years now, where I always like write down every single book that I read and the author and if it's part of a series and also how I liked it. And I'm just gonna check my list for May. There it is. So the first book I read, or I should say I finished, is War Storm by Victoria Aveyard. This is the fourth and final book to the Red Queen series. And I started the series many years ago and absolutely loved the first books. But it took me ages to read this. I think there was like a two year gap between the third book and this one. And that's also why sadly I didn't really enjoy it. I ended up writing a three out of five stars. But not because it was a bad book. Actually, it was a really good book and also a great conclusion to the series. But because there was such a long period of time since I read the previous book, I barely remembered anything that had happened. So I really didn't get into the story and I didn't care for some of the characters and also I had been spoiled already for the ending. There is like one major character that dies and I knew about this so that was kind of... I didn't have the surprise effect anymore. So um, sadly this was only 3 out of 5 but I'm still really glad I finished the series because I just really like the idea and the writing style. Book number two I read is a German ebook and it's Raubtierstadt by Bernhard Steber. This is a thriller and I got the free ebook by the publisher because I am interning there at the moment. And occasionally they tell me about free ebooks when they have some and I uh, get to read them if I want to. And usually I don't read thrillers, but I really ended up enjoying this. I rated it a four out of five stars. So this takes place in Oslo in Norway and it's about a young woman named Sarah and she came to Oslo to investigate the death of her brother because she doesn't believe he committed suicide like the police thinks. And then when she's in Oslo, she gets to know a young man who's very into Norse mythology and Sarah liked that as well. And then she gets sucked into a plot that's bigger than she thought at first because there's like an ancient Viking sword and then the young man gets murdered. And it was really cool and interesting and I really enjoyed it. And it was a really great surprise because usually I don't read thrillers. So the next one I read was a Marvel comic and it was The Amazing Spider-Man Civil War. This is the uh, Civil War volume that centers around Peter Parker or Spider-Man and I got into Marvel comics only last year. I did lots of research about reading orders and characters and where best to start and all that. And then I read some and I really got sucked into the universe. I mean, uh, you've seen my t-shirt, I'm a huge Marvel nerd. So yeah, some months ago I read the Civil War event and I decided I wanted to read some more uh, tie-ins to this and The Amazing Spider-Man was one of the tie-ins I read. And I really enjoyed the story. It was really quite deep and gave a lot of insight to the characters, not only to Peter Parker, but also to Tony Stark, who's like my baby. <laughs> and I ended up rating this 4.5 stars out of five. So the next book I read is a manuscript I proofread for my internship. It's a German crime novel, but it hasn't been published yet. So I'm not gonna talk about this book here, but I still counted this into my reading challenge because it was like over 200 pages and I really worked with this book. But there were also of course more physical books that I read and the next one is a German review copy I received from the author and it's SOS Superhelden and it's Zweifelhafte Prophezeiung by Fabian Lemmel. The title translates to SOS Superheroes, A Questionable Prophecy. And this book has a really cool idea because there's a machine named Cassandra who can uh, tell who's about to become a superhero and then one day she gives out the names of these five teenagers who would have never met if not for that and then they uh, go to SOS which is the superhero organization and pick up their training but the more time they spend there and nothing happens and they don't get their powers so of course questions arise whether the machine maybe made a mistake and if they're really about to become superheroes. So this is a middle grade novel, I would recommend it for 10 or 11 years and up. And it was really fun, a quick read, it had a great and funny writing style. I really enjoyed it and I rated it 4 out of 5 stars. The next two books or graphic novels I read were also review copies. The first one was Wonder Woman Tempest Cost by Laurie Healthy Anderson. The German title is Wonder Woman Stürmische Zeiten. I also won this review copy from the publisher. And this is a new take on Diana or Wonder Woman's origin story. She's a teenager in this one and she wants to help some refugees but then she gets like stranded with them and can't go back to her island Themyscira. This was also some sort of coming of age story because it's Diana first trip to the human world and she gets confronted with our very real problems like the refugee crisis, poverty, hunger or child slavery. So for this reason this was quite deep at points but I missed like a certain something and I ended up rating this also 4 out of 5 stars. 
And the next graphic novel that I also won the review copy for by the publisher is You Brought Me the Ocean by Alex Sanche. This is Zeig mir das Meer in German, Show Me the Ocean. And this is about a teenager named Jake and he is gay but he's afraid of coming out. But there is this boy at his school who is very openly about his homosexuality and he kind of admires him and also kind of has a crush on him. But there's also his best friend Maria. They've been friends since they were like little children and Jake doesn't know if he should come out or how he should do it. And there are also some mysterious markings on his arms that light up when he comes in contact with water. He's always felt drawn to the ocean, but his mother forbids him to go near the water. So there were parts of it that were quite mysterious, but mostly it was just a very heartfelt and heartwarming coming out story. I really love the characters in this. They felt very real. And I ended up rating this five out of five stars. So the next one was a reread, and it was actually the reread of my number one all-time favorite novel, which is The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. I don't have to tell you what this book is about, but it was like the mother of YA dystopia and also the book that made me become a fan of this genre and made me fall in love with the genre. This book will always have a special place in my heart. And I, of course, rated this five out of five because, I mean, I cried 20 pages in this. When I read this book, it does something to me. It really means a lot to me and I reread this like every year. <laughs> Book number nine was another one that I proofread for my internship and it was actually a science fiction novel that originally came out in 1920 but there is a new edition coming out now. It was really cool to see how the author already came up with these interesting ideas that are like important to us today. But sometimes the writing style was of course a bit strange. It was a bit strange to get into and there were some uh, old-fashioned views to society. And finally book number 10 is another German science fiction book that I got from the publisher and it's Die Mission der Marutai by Mara Lauer. This translates to the mission of the Marutai. The Marutai is the name of a spaceship. And this book is about a woman named Yuva Davidov and she's the security chief on the Marutai. And they're on their way to help a planet that's under siege. But then they get attacked by the enemy and the captain of the ship gets killed. And then suddenly Yuva is the highest ranking officer on board and has to take command but uh, she's confronted with a lot of problems. So this is a classical space opera. I really love this book. I love Yora, she's a strong character and there were also great representation of diversity and also racism issues in this book. And I rated it 4.5 stars out of five. So that was the month of May in terms of books for me. I had a lot of fun with all the books that I read. It was a really great reading month for me and I'm excited to see which books I read in June. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel or to my book blog that I have linked down below. And I hope Hope to see you again in my next video. Bye! And then she gets like sucked into this thing that's like I'm really I'm really bad with explaining book plots. Um I should have written that down first. <gasps> my tablet just fell down on the floor.